What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Ed Croucher and this is Cars and Crouchy. Uh, this is my 2013 GTR. It's a DBA GTR. It's just been serviced. 35,000 miles on the clock and um, it's not tuned at all and it's 550 horsepower and it's launch control gen 5 so it is 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds so it's rapidly quick and I personally ran an 11 second dead quarter mile at Santa Pod in it which is ridiculous for a stock car especially in this price bracket but we're going for a car meet today down in Bournemouth. Now, if you who don't know, Bournemouth is sort of the uh, rich playground for those in the south of England. Uh, the nice place called Sandbanks with lots of multi-million pound houses and uh, lots of nice cars. And we're meeting for you guys down there with much nicer cars than me for a car meet, which should be pretty exciting. Uh, for you who don't know what this car is, the Nissan GTR is a uh, V6 front engine. It has two turbochargers. It sounds amazing for a six pot as well, considering uh, you know, it's not a V8 or a nice V10 or V12 like some other supercars because it is sort of the entry level supercar. But um, it sounds amazing considering the number of cylinders it's got. It's got 3.8 litres of displacement and it is rapid. But more to the point, let's have a cold start up and hear how this thing sounds when you just turn it on in the morning because it does sound really good. As you guys are unaware, I've actually got some damage on the car at the moment, which is being sorted out tomorrow. But on top of the wing there, there is a scrape. And in addition to that, which while I don't really like taking it to shows like this, both of my alloys are pretty badly curved on the side. And I've also got a bit of paint missing from the uh, front bumper down there. So I don't really like going to places like this where there are like immaculate GT3 RSs or even SLK 55s and C63Ss because, well, they've all got good paint work and haven't beat their cars up because I'm an idiot. But um, let's go and have a look around because we've arrived and uh, see what other cars are out here. The one that's really caught my eye is that lovely green GT3 RS, but there's some awesome cars here. And definitely a few with a lot more horsepower than me. So when I was leaving Peorgium in Southampton the other week, I actually saw this exact C63S at the lights. Uh, unfortunately, I was turning right, so we couldn't have a race, but more horsepower than me, undoubtedly, and he's got an aftermarket exhaust. I believe it's straight pipe, and it sounds absolutely amazing. Obviously, front engine, four litre, twin turbo V8, absolute monster of a car, and uh, I'm a huge fan. Not too great at putting the power down, but absolutely perfect for doing uh, burnouts and being an absolute yob. So this is the older shape R8 V10 and it's either on air or severely lowered. I'd hope it was on air because I don't know how you get that over any speed bumps. With aftermarket BBS wheels and I've got to say, and the wing of course on the back that looks just like the new R8 V10 Plus wing. I honestly really think this has really like sort of brought the date of the shape up together. It looks, it looks like a much newer car and uh, it's just, it's really finished off the look of it. I really like how this looks. In all honesty, doing this to an old R8 wouldn't be super expensive and it's, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love this car.
Now, I want to get a slightly controversial topic off my chest and see what you guys think. So leave a comment in the description below. But what do you guys think? Would you rather have the older shape C63 with the 6.3 litre naturally aspirated V8? In my opinion, in my opinion, has a slightly deeper tone. They sound slightly better, although the shape is looking a bit dated. Or would you go for the bi-turbo 4 litre V8 in the newer C63s? Obviously, there's more power, but I think the tone is slightly nicer in terms of the exhaust note on the older ones. But it's a bit of a mix-up. I personally think the premium price of C63s hold over the old C63s isn't worth it at the moment and just for the gravelly tone of the exhaust I'd actually probably go for the 6.3 litre and uh, probably invest in shares in Shell as well to make sure I uh, had enough money to um, buy petrol and uh, more money wasn't just going to get wasted because let's be honest 6.3 litre V8 is not going to get great fuel economy but who cares when it sounds that good I mean, oh Shah loves it when I vlog ah, oh. caught him, caught him. oh my god I nearly died then so Shah hates it when I vlog because everyone looks and thinks I'm famous when I've got absolutely no views but um we're going for a coffee now because I'm actually really thirsty and it's feeding and feeding or it's just going to get really grouchy, you know. That's what that's what she's like. She's like a little gremlin, aren't you? you my little gremlin? Yeah. Yes. So we're going to get a coffee and coffee saloon. Looks perfect. What, she's eating too much? Give me a handful. Oh, what's going on? That was the Maserati again. I'm apple. I'm driving. I'm driving. What the hell? I want to confirm, this is the best brownie I've ever eaten. It's good, isn't it? How's your coffee? Mm. <laughs> I feel a million times better now. I've got an iced salted caramel latte. It's regular caramel. What have you got? Caramel latte. Vanilla latte. Oh, she's much more. I want a reaction. Mm. It's really milky. It's not very strong. It's tasty. So obviously we've all seen a lot of I8s rolling around in the wild now. They're a few years old, but the I8 roasters actually are very common. I believe they're quite new as well. It's a 68 plate, this one. They look really cool and I love that burnt orange paint as well. It's a really nice colour. And gotta say, for a three pot, I think these are the best sounding three pots on the planet. Obviously hybrid powertrain as well, but for a three pot, gorgeous engine note. So all of the main cars are leaving the event, so we're going to head off now as well. Um, nothing else super exciting showing up. Stuart Harvey showing up in his stage 4.25 GTR. That's cool. He's got some cool aftermarket mods, but you've all seen that before. Um, and we're going to head off. There's some sick cars here, and it's been a really good meet. But we need some lunch now, so it's time for us to bounce and try and not get arrested because everyone else is leaving, going sideways, making a lot of noise. And I, uh, number one, can't afford the tyres, and number two, need to keep my licence. So. Despite being this far on the seafront, I'm hoping it's not too windy for you to hear me. What a perfect place to park the car, am I right? Look at that background. Absolutely gorgeous. Watching it, what, literally just taking those pictures of the car here with the sea in the background, it's just, it, it, it is a real pinch me moment. Like, it was cleaned yesterday, it looks gorgeous. The pearl paint is popping in the sun. And like, I'm stood here at 22, I've owned the car a year, and I'm like, that, that's my car? Like, ha what happened? How the hell did I manage that? Absolutely ridiculous, but look at it. Sat there with the uh, in the sun with all this, all this in the background, and we're going for a nice meal as well. Life's pretty good. <laughs>